Hello and welcome to Pressure Tick 100. I'm back on the Dreamcast kick and I've received two games recently. One from eBay, my favourite game of all time on the Dreamcast, Sega Rally 2 or Sega Rally Championship. I believe this is the better version of Saturn, don't shoot me for saying that. And also I got sent a game by my good friend and fellow YouTuber, David Bertel from David Bertel Plays Games Badly. He sent me Vigilante 8 Second Offence. I've never played this before. It's really nice of him to send me to it. It's some sort of... Uh, battling type game like uh, Twisted Metal Black and it's got lots of vehicles so we'll take a look at this and then you'll see me suck at this so let's play these two games first game we're going to play is Vigilante 8 Second Offensive I've never played this game little fact for you with the Dreamcast it was the only console I've bought new ever I've never bought a console new before or since I bought it two weeks after it came out I got Soul Calibur and I really liked it but in the January of 2000 I sold it to buy a train ticket to go to Durham to see my now wife, and that was 18 years ago. I've since had more Dreamcasts, but I haven't had a Dreamcast for about 10 years, so now I'm trawling eBay and looking around to find little games that I used to have. Uh, I've got to get Soul Calibur again, and as you know, I've got Sega Rally, I'm going to be playing that a lot. So let's see what this Vigilante 8 Second Offensive is like. Let's do arcade mode. I don't know what these options are, it's like how many cars you want to fight here, or I guess let's have two of each. Except, yeah, I'm looking to get a uh, typing of the dead. I can burn my own games, but um, I kind of want them to pick them up and have them on the shelf for the rest of my stuff. Okay, well, that's shoot, obviously, that's some sort of homing thing. That's break and oh, I'll be hit already. Right. Okay. Graphics aren't too bad. I wouldn't say they're not. Sega graphics. Sega Rally graphics. I must get one of those VJ adapters for my Dreamcast. Actually, I think I might need a uh, another Dreamcast because this one likes to turn itself off while I'm playing a game, which is not fun. I bought it a couple of months ago. I didn't really check it out. I bought it on a uh, retro game trader from a, a guy. I think he runs sites in admin. So he probably doesn't know it, does it? But uh, I might look out for another one. This is kind of yellowed as well, so. I'm going to keep my eye out for a deal on a nice minty white Dreamcast. Or maybe a special edition, like a sports edition. Or maybe a Japanese version, who knows? So much retro, so little money to buy. Well, so far, it's very close quarters. It's a little bit like Twisted Metal. Oh, I'm going to flip over. Destroy anybody yet? I think there's pickups. I was able to find some pickups. I'll do if I press the accelerator. They're on my tail. Oh, what's this X mean? Fancy weapons, and I haven't got much of anything. Just so be able to drive up there and get that. Oh, I've lift over again. Handling of the car is pretty good. We can find some loot of some sort. Look there. What's this do now? We're going in here. Oh, brings you out somewhere else. 
this will do. So we can get it before somebody else. No. Some sort of rocket launcher. Oh. So we can actually hit somebody every nice. Oh, it's a spaceship. You lose your guns if you get directly hit. I think we'll leave it there and try a bit of Sega Rally. Not a bad game, gonna take a bit more pain and work out what the hell's going on. Funny fact about Sega Rally, you can't really emulate. I've tried on Nod DC and a few other emulators, it just doesn't work. So if you want to play Sega Rally on the Dreamcast, you have to play on an actual Dreamcast. Let's get going. Let's play arcade, see how far I get. I'm extremely rusty. I don't play it for so long, but it might all come back to me. Let's aim for the World Championship. What car should we go with? That's right, the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Let's go. Yeah, I need probably a VJ cable and RGB Scar cable. It's just red, white, and yellow. Currently, I just bought the cable on eBay. Should have ponied up for the RGB Scar. And I know some games run on the VJ cable and some don't. But I've got a plethora of VJ monitors. To so play this on a nice VJ monitor would be nice. And uh, we'll go to waste. Come on. It's all coming back to me now. Put your finger off the brake. I will beat Retro Gamer VX this year at Nerg. I'll just have to make sure it's the uh, Dreamcast version that will play here. Not the Saturn version. Although I do like the Saturn version. That's not too bad. In the desert stage, I've jumped one space at least. So I've got never been away. I like to see gameplays of every Dreamcast game I pick up because uh, I do love like the Dreamcast. If you know any better races on the Dreamcast, I'd be interested to know because I don't think this could be beaten for racing. Oh no! Come on! Oh, just. I am severely rusty. Toast now. Oh. Well, my time is up. Unfortunately, I'm fairly rusty at this. Obviously, more rusty than I previously imagined. I do like Sega Rally. I'll be playing this a lot in the future. Uh, if anybody wants to meet me at Nerg and play play against me on this, I should have had a couple of months practice by then. I'll be up for a challenge. So that's my Sega Rally games I've picked up recently. Thanks to David Burswell for sending me Vigilante 8 Second Offensive. 
Thanks to eBay for sending me Sega Rally. This has been Retro Take 100. I'll see you next time.